Subtract mixed numbers. We want to subtract 3 and 7 eighths minus 2 and 4 eighths. First, we draw a model. We have 3 wholes and 7 eighths. First, we subtract the fractional parts. 7 eighths minus 4 eighths. We have 3 eighths. Now we subtract the whole number parts. 3 minus 2 gives us 1. So the final answer is 1 and 3 eighths. Let's try another example. 3 and 5 sixths minus 1 and 4 sixths. Let's shade the model. We have 3 holes and 5 sixths. First, we subtract the fractional parts. 5 sixths minus 4 sixths gives us 1 sixth. Next, we subtract the whole number parts. 3 minus 1 gives us 2. So the final answer is 2 and 1 sixth. Let's try another example. 4 and 7 twelfths minus 3 and 2 twelfths. First, we subtract the fractional parts. 7 over 12 minus 2 over 12 gives us 5 over 12. Now we subtract the whole number parts. 4 minus 3 gives us 1. So the final answer is 1 and 5 twelfths. Subtraction with renaming. Let's say we want to subtract 6 and 1 seventh minus 2 and 3 sevenths. First, we subtract the fractional parts. We can't subtract 3 sevenths from 1 seventh because 3 is greater than 1. So how do we subtract the mixed numbers? The first option is to rename the first mixed number. 6 and 1 seventh can be rewritten as 5 plus 1 plus 1 seventh. We know that 1 can be rewritten as 7 over 7, so we can write 5 plus 7 over 7, plus 1 seventh. Now we can add. We get 5 and 8 seventh. So instead of writing 6 and 1 seventh, we can plug in 5 and 8 sevenths. Now we can subtract. We get 3 and 5 sevenths as the final answer. The second option is to rename both mixed numbers. We turn both mixed numbers into improper fractions. 6 and 1 seventh becomes 43 over 7. 2 and 3 sevenths becomes 17 over 7. Now we can subtract the improper fractions. We get 26 over 7. We need to turn the improper fraction into a mixed number. So the final answer is 3 and 5 sevenths. Let's do another example. 7 and 3 tenths minus 4 and 6 tenths. First we subtract the fractional parts. But we can't subtract 6 tenths from 3 tenths because 6 is greater than 3. We have to use renaming in order to subtract. The first option is to rename the first mixed number. We can write 7 and 3 tenths as 6 plus 1 plus 3 tenths. We know that 1 is the same as 10 tenths. So we can write 6 plus 10 tenths plus 3 tenths, which gives us 6 and 13 tenths. Now, instead of writing 7 and 3 tenths, we can write 6 and 13 tenths. We subtract the fractional parts. 13 tenths minus 6 tenths gives us 7 tenths. Next, we subtract the whole number parts. 6 minus 4 gives us 2. So the final answer is 2 and 7 tenths. Now let's try the second option, renaming both mixed numbers. We need to write both mixed numbers as improper fractions. 
7 and 3 tenths becomes 73 over 10. 4 and 6 tenths becomes 46 over 10. Now we subtract and we get 27 over 10. The final answer needs to be a mixed number, so we get 2 and 7 tenths. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.